everybody else left me. I gotta get this coffee review done. Or else I'm gonna, it's gonna be late. I need someone to help me out. Oh! Hey, mind if I bump some coffee off of you, dude? So, uh, what are your four favorite places to go get coffee? I've heard about Aromas, Mug Life, Beansmith, and then also this place called Caffeine Dreams. All right, that sounds good. How about uh, each place we get uh, just a single, just a single coffee, single centralized coffee? How about a brother, which is basically just a latte with half and half instead of milk? Sounds good. All right, let's go. I'll do that. Outside of Mug Life Coffee, we're about to go hit that place up. Uh, I'm super excited. I haven't had a coffee all day, and it's like noon, so. We got our breves from uh, Mug Life Coffee. Uh, super good. They look beautiful. It's really sweet smelling. Oh yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh, that is good breve. Oh, oh, oh my god. It's at the same price point as Starbucks pretty much, so I mean... Oh yeah, and you're getting much more bang for your buck here. This is so much nicer oh, than yeah. Starbucks. And then the taste, I would give that a... Uh, Nine out of ten. What would you give it? Oh, dude, I, I'm up there with you. I'm nine or nine and a half out of ten. That's nine and really a half good. out of ten. All right. I mean, like me, mean like not being here before. This is this is real good. This is real good. Ryan seal of approval. Super nice. <laughs> so now we're going to Aromas. Aromas. Aromas is like a pretty big deal now. We are at the second place. We are at Aroma's Coffee House now. We've got another Breve. Another Breve. But I would say, like, it's not, it just doesn't have that, like, like that little twinge of sweetness like the other one does. It's a little bit yeah. more dull. It is a bit more dull. I'd definitely say that. It smells good, though, still. Cheers. Last one was super good, but this one's, like, more of, like, a... Like it puts you in like the mood of just like sitting and relaxing with a cup of coffee. The other one was kind of like a like a Sunday morning like like early work vibe. I'd rate this one like an eight and a half or a nine. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, I feel like yeah, this one gets an eight really for me. But for me personally, I like the I like I like the darker roast. I think this is a sippable coffee, and the other one's like a chuggable. Good job. And now we are at the Beansmith. They do some really beautiful coffee art here. And oh, yeah. uh, I kind of like the decor. And I like the fact that everything's very simple here. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Let's get the smell. First test. It smells a little similar to it's a mug life. mug life. Yeah, no, I definitely. I'd say this is the same sweetness. Uh, Ready for this? Yeah. A cheers. A cheers. Very smooth. Oh, dude, it's so smooth. That is smooth like butter. I'd, I'd give this coffee a 9 out of 10 for like the flavor. 9 out of 10 for flavor? 9 out of 10 for flavor. If I gave Mug Life 9.5 out of 10, yeah. I, would, I don't know, I'd give this a 8.5 or 9. It's really tip of the taste buds, and Mug Life kind of got more in, like, like a power wash. But like on its own, I think this is better yeah, than Aromas. This is better than Aromas for coffee. <laughs> Alrighty, now we are at the, uh, the final resting place of this coffee review. Our fourth and final stop, Caffeine Dreams. We got a big old mug of coffee here for four dollars, and uh, we're getting ready to finish this bad boy up. It smells like coffee. It smells like my, my like my coffee at home. It smells real good. It's <sighs> different than it's a lot different than um mug life. Mug, mug life. Is it good? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> mm. The the milk to coffee ratio in this is really nice. I kind of just want to sit back and just chug this and just like take it down the hatch. I definitely say that it has a sharper flavor. Um, I'd say it has a duller flavor. Really? It's a little bit more milk than there is a Actually, coffee. Yeah, I think that's why they probably have it at a lower price, which is fine. 
for the, like, the taste and the flavor, I'd give it a, uh, a 9 out of 10. Can you give it a 9 out of 10? Yeah, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I think it was it was very smooth. I put the taste it, I don't know, I think I put it like an 8, 8 and a half, just because it's like a little bit of a duller coffee flavor than, I, than we've had today. Sure. But it's still super nice. I'm also really tired right now, so my ratings are not... And not A1? Not A1. Well, I mean, like, I'm still having coffee, so I'm pretty up and going, so. Alrighty, so let's sum up today's coffee drinking experience. We're gonna rate things from least enjoyable to most enjoyable, and we're not, you know, ratting on any of these guys. We don't dislike any of it. We just rating it purely and positively based on our experience with the coffee. Number four, aromas. Aromas has got it's a coffee that you just sip. I'd rather have a coffee that I could like drink. It was enjoyable. It just wasn't as good as the other ones. Number three, caffeine dreams. Caffeine dreams. There was too little coffee in there. It was very creamy, which was good. I just wish that they would add some more coffee in there. Yeah, and no, I put it number three for that reason as well. And given the fact that it was our last coffee and we were already super hyped up on the rest of the caffeine we had. <laughs> number two. And that is Beansmith. Beansmith. It's pretty good. It was a little pricey, but the flavor was there and it was also super smooth. It was just a little bit dulled out versus Mug Life. It's going to number one. Number one, which is Mug Life, which oh. is our which was our first coffee of the of the day today, uh, which is weird. We were basically comparing everything to Mug Life the entire time, if it was the machine or the beans or or what it was, but it was really really good. It's not even like compared to Starbucks. It's almost the oh same my, exact yeah. price. Yeah, and you could go to Starbucks and spend six bucks. Yeah, it just kind of thinks that it's not all nearby West Side. But if you are in downtown, we highly recommend every single one of these places. I'm Gabe Henrix. I'm Ryan Alger. And this has been our coffee review. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.